Let's talk about socio-economic development. Very simple questions based on poverty, gender differences, HDI reports. So here we have a very interesting question. Ending learning poverty report was released by. What is this learning poverty? First of all, learning poverty implies a child below the percent uh, below the ten years of age. What percentage of such childs cannot? either study or understand a simple easy tale so this was an analysis that was brought about by world bank and world bank did a survey and launched this report where it believed that nearly 53% of the youngsters lying in uh, low and medium uh, medium international locations cannot actually study and understand a an easy tale the next question talks about digital learning in india so in India online education market is already in competition with the traditional offline learning market so this is an incorrect statement here that it cannot compete the next is there is definitely an absence of a robust framework for governance for online education system which is one of the major loopholes or major challenges Tech 18 is a kind of worldwide conference laid down by UNESCO, MGIEP, and the Andhra Pradesh government recently, which focuses on digital learning in India and the courses for online learning. The next talks about the Transgender Persons uh, Protection of Rights Act 2019. Now, this act prohibits against eight types of discriminations that are there. these are mainly related to employment health care admissions to basic uh, public health care facilities right to movement right to reside possibility of holding a public or a non public office and so on and so forth but it provides for the right to self perceived gender identity and a national council for transgender persons to be set up under the advice of the government so you have second and third statements that are correct here again a very very important topic the next is regarding mmr the maternal mortality rate in india now mmr is calculated per 1 lakh okay so per 1 lakh how many maternal deaths have occurred explain the mmr now who defines this as a death of women while she is conceiving or has 42 days of the termination of pregnancy now 42 days is a very very important figure here there could be question where there are variations in the choices that is asked and india has registered nearly 27% reduction in mmr back since 2013 this is again very very important uh, among the states Kerala is doing the best. Uh, however, the highest cases have of MMR have been reported from Assam. Uh, that is a kind of variation state wise we can say, and age wise distribution is given here. The next question talks about the Global Hunger Index. Now, Global Hunger Index is published by World Hunger Life, and this has been a kind of fact sheet since two thousand. India's rank has deteriorated from ninety five to hundred and two. It has not improved. So both the statements here stand wrong. The GHI ranking is a kind of hundred uh, factor scale. Zero being an excellent score with no starvation, and hundred being the cases of extremely worse starvation cases that are seen. And the ranking of India based on stunting, based on wasting, are some of the important parameters that are taken into account the next question talks about the children report 2019 now the children report 2019 says that triple burden of malnutrition has accounted for the first has been accounted for the first time in this report and the number of overweight children across all continents have increased but the number of stunted children have also increased it's not decreased so the second statement holds incorrect here and here are the deaths of uh, children under 5 years of age uh, because of the various diseases that are there and the top 5 countries for the same so those are the kind of important features that we have to understand uh, unicef has published a state of the world children report where it has titled down children food and nutrition uh, growing well in the changing world the next is ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana now this is a moneyless and a paperless access to the services 
to the end point of service there is no cap on the family size and it's a centrally sponsored scheme with the cost of implementation being shared by center and state it's very important there is no cap on the family size but there is cap on the amount that a family can use for secondary and tertiary hospitalizations which is five flags a year the next question regarding who country uh, cooperation strategy is again important. It has been implemented by both WHO and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The priorities have been outlined in CCS and are with the National Health Policy 2017. So both of these statements are correct. Now this is the WHO India country cooperation strategy 2019 to 2023 that has been taken into account in public domain the next is global gender report has been given by world economic forum and this talks about a framework to understand the gender disparities and talk about the monitoring over the time so world economic forum wef is the right option the next is HDI ranks based on all the three parameters, life expectancy, education and per capita income. Very, very uh, important. Mehbubul Haq, who was one of the founders who laid down the parameter of HDI, included all these basic parameters for ranking the HDI. And based on this, you had the first human development report that was generated. The next question, this human, uh, de uh, human development report is part of your NCRT 11th and 12th uh, economic syllabus, which we have covered in detail there the next is sustainable development goal india index now india index was released by niti Aayog and it talks about the progress of the states on the basis of 100 parameters that were taken into account and kerala was the state which executed as the highest state or topped the index accompanied by himachal pradesh at the next level so that is where we are talking about the development and here we have the states which are having a good parameter in contrast to those who are on a lower verge in the parameter the next is regarding the in the PISA, the PISA testing, which is the program for international students assessment. Now, this is uh, an initiative by International Student as, uh, Assessment, not UN, and it is held every three years starting from 2000, uh, where it started, the next would be in 2021. So PISA is a three years uh, part where stu uh, students are assessed every three years. A very, very important question for uh, this time. Eco Network, again, very, very important. It's a national network to promote cross-disciplinary leadership and this has been released by the principal scientific advisor to the government of India. So you have first option as the correct option. The next is Aisha, which is the All India Survey for Higher Education. It covers all the higher educational institutions and focuses on the density te teacher pupil ratio per student expenditure. And here is the kind of <clears throat> male female ratio that is given across various programs in the higher education so aishi's report is again very very important uh, most of the focus is, is on gender parity index per student uh, expenditure pupil teacher ratio uh, institutional density and so on so with this we cover some of the most important questions from your socio and economic development section we will be covering many more important questions before your 2020 examination stay tuned have a wonderful day